Hello, Alma. Good morning. How are you today? Hi, Anna. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm very, very excited because we are going to weed together a wedding theme from Little Women. And, and because you are my sister-in-law, <laughs> I think this is a perfect theme for us. What do you think? I think it is, yes. <laughs> Indeed. And so before we start reading it, I want to tell to the people who you are and what do you do. Alba, uh, Alba Hernández, uh, she is a preschool teacher. She studied in Alcalá de Henares and she is teaching these days as a monitor in pre, um, in pre, in, in, in extracurricular activities in uh, Teresian school that is called Jesus Maestro, right? And as far as I know, you have been there for five years already. Yes. Okay, so your expectations also in learning English is because you want to pass also the advanced level, right? Are you studying these days the advanced? Yes, I'm doing it to do my exam in December. Mm, fantastic, good luck with that. And so you are studying on your own or are you studying also with, with people that are helping you? No, I'm studying on my own with one friend mm -hmm. helping me. Yes, good. And so you know that I can help you also with that whenever you want, with material and, and with these kind of conversations as well. And so let's start by also saying what is your goal? So in terms of having a work, what is your goal? Because now you are working as a monitor in extracurricular lessons. Yes. Uh, five hours a day, you told me, right? Uh, but your goal is to what I wish, I wish I could access soon to a fixed a stable work as a teacher. Exactly. In a semi-stated school or a private well, school, school. Uh, hopefully in, in Fundación de Teresiana, yes. uh, in Jesús Maestro or in the other school that is called Inmaculada Concepción, that I know because I also taught there, mm -hmm. and also Spanish there and English. Well, I, I, in that, I only taught Spanish to, to second officer. But yes, I'm sure you will get that place soon, Thank you, you know, because you are working a lot and you are young, and I'm sure they will ask you and hire you in some school as the position that you uh, are willing to, to perform, which is an, uh, a preschool teacher from three years old up to five. So let's start with the, re the reading. Uh, let's comment that the, we are in the page on the page 73 and 74 from the script from 1994 movie. And so let's let's read the beginning. It's a hymn that they are singing around the the bride and the room that are getting married, and the friends, well, friends, see, friends and relatives are dancing around this couple. The wedding guest says. For the beauty of the earth, for the beauty of the skies, for the love which from our birth, over and around us lies. Joe and Beth and Amy are maids of honor in plain, dove gray suits, Laurie, older and handsome, in a formal coat, smiles teasingly at Joe, who is solemn and elegant, her hair grown long again. Beth is still frail, with ever-present shadows under her eyes. The greatest change is in Amy, who has become a graceful young woman of 16. Casting from this moment on, Amy is played by a different actress, who must look at a great deal like our young Amy and share her essential qualities. Well done. Do you want to comment any word that has called your attention here? Um, yes. Uh, the word frail, which is an adjective. Yes. And it means like she's still weak. Exactly. She was ill. Yes. And she's still yes. We are still recovering from that illness. She got the scarlet fever because yes. she was helping the Hamels. Yes. Any other word? 
mm, I think teasingly. Mm -hmm. It's an adverb and it means to annoy him. In Spanish, yes, yes. we can say hacer de rabia. Yes, yeah, so yeah, Laurie is teasing Joe, uh, teasing her or annoying her. Yes, yeah, very good, well done. Let's continue reading. Okay. Beautiful Meg inclines her head submissively against John Brooke, who could not look more proud. The sister's voice rises sweetly and then goes silent as the camera pulls away. Exactly. Exterior, solarium, Lawrence House, spring, day, rain. Rain betters, butters the little grass house. Inside, the shadows move. Cut two. Interior, Joe and Beth's room, night, rain. After the wedding, exhausted, Joe and Beth and Amy take off their bridesmaids' finery. As they help each other undress, Beth sinks to the bed, a little dizzy. She doesn't look well. Very good. Before I read Beth, do you want to highlight any word here? Yes, I like to. The, the expression or the words right mates finery. Uh, it's a typical dress of the bride's attendant. Very good. Well done. Yes. Um, and they are taking off these dresses and it's very, they are usually very elegant. Yes. <laughs> and Beth March says, oh my, I think I've had too much excitement. Waves is waves it away from a laugh with a with a laugh. Didn't our Meg look a perfect rose? Amy March. It wasn't a fashionable wedding, but there's never been a better one. Then her flowers might be half been nicer. Then I'm ending. I'm sure Meg will be happy. Yes. And let's comment one common mistakes. There are two that I have heard already. Become and unfashionable. These are the typical words that we, when we start speaking, it's very common that we say wrong because we have learned, that, learned, learned them wrong, basically. Yes. So just for them to, to repeat that aloud is fashionable. It's as Rufula knows, it has the stress at the beginning. Fashionable. Uh, very good. Hanging up. Hanging up her suit with care and doing up the bottoms. Joe March, behind the mask of his name as his wife in his home, stripping off her suit and helping it on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yes, the word is heaping it, which means to create like a little heap or like a mound of clothes, clothing on the floor. And that's the expression. Um, and Amy says, Oh, it's her home too. Joe March, it's his castle. Amy March, hardly a castle, feels unkindly. And Beth March says, I like John Brooke. Joe March, we all like John Brooke, but there must be an alternative to marrying him. The last thing I would do is go from hurt to hurt, as Meg has done from child to wife, with nothing in between, promising herself. I shall go to Europe or die. Yes, let's comment this also very strange, strange uh, word that is heart from heart to heart. It's written like air, but with age, and it's said heart, like with up. And it, it means that she doesn't want to be moving from from home to home with nothing in between. Um, so obviously Jo is expressing her, her desire for freedom and doing something interesting in the middle before marrying, no? before getting married. Um, so that's the expression from her to her. And let's explain also that her, it's this space in front of the fireplace 
where usually th there is a different tiling or different material, usually it's maybe um, some kind of metal or any tiling that is saving the, the floor from the fire, is protecting the, the floor from the fire. Um, so we continue with the reading. Amy March, perhaps for your wedding trip. When do you think Lori will ask you? Joe March glares at her. He wouldn't dare. Good. Joe unpins her corsage and tosses it away. Amy picks it up and ice and ice Joe with poignant envy. Yes. And cut to, and this is the end of the scene. Let's comment a few words that usually people also have difficulties with is wouldn't, wouldn't. Uh, it's usually, I always say to people to put the, the teeth here, would, like when you say violet or violin, right? Would. And then Joe, oh, and pins, the pins that we have from the head, but also pins is any alfilet and pins. So the corsage is also the corsage is something very, Mm, tricky because it looks very similar to corset, but it's not a corset here. It's a, a flower flower arrangement, which is usually a bouquet, a um, small bouquet of flowers uh, that we don't know if, if, if it's just for having in your hand or maybe she is unpinning it from her hair, for example, or some part of her dress. And tosses is also another expression, tosses it away means to throw it away. And with this, we have finished the, the scene. What do you think about the words and expressions that you have been learning and reviewing with me? Let's comment on that. They are very interesting. I mm. didn't hear it before. Mm. So it's very interesting to have it. We included it on my vocabulary. Yes. So let's 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 comment three words that you have learned with me. Mm, as I said, uh, teasingly. Yeah. Frail. Yes, teasingly means annoying. Frail means weak. Weak. On Bright mates finery. Very good. Which the means? Dress of the bride's attendant. Exactly. Well done. And I'm going to say pu, which is a ba, no interjection. I like it that one. Pu. And then I also like the expression from heart to heart. Hmm. I like it because we have we learn a very technical word from houses with fireplace. But also we have learned an expressions, an expression from heart to heart. And that's it. We have finished for today. Thank you for being with me, Alva. Thank you, Anna. And I'll see you soon. I'll place some information from your LinkedIn profile probably underneath the box so people can contact you, okay? Okay. Um, my best wishes for you as well. Thanks. Don't go. I will stop the recording and we'll continue talking after it. Okay. So let's say bye-bye to the audience.